All right, I'm gonna do a quick video today of the 2014 Mazda 3. Oil change. I'll do the uh, video on the GTI later. It's not uh, it's not ready for its oil change yet. I did one on this 2014. Uh, it's probably been almost a year, and it's on YouTube. Uh, but for some reason, I lost that YouTube password I can't seem to get in so I'm gonna create a new one uh, this is just gonna be a quick video of the 2014 Mazda 3 oil change it's got the 2.0 engine in it here's uh, some oil I picked up at O'Reilly's today uh, the car calls for 0 20 uh, but they said 520 is fine. I'm using the same oil filter I did last time. Uh, seems to have worked fine. I was going to get a new drain plug, but they didn't have one. Um, I might go to Mazda tomorrow. Today's Sunday, so they're closed, but I might order one tomorrow. <clears throat> um, or if these washers work fine, I'll just use that. The plug itself is fine, but it does leak a little bit. Uh, or it might leak a little bit if the washer's not working properly. Um, got the Allen wrench to take off the drain plug. I think it's a 5.8. And I got an air filter this time. So, got some disposable gloves here. And these I'll use just to get the initial wrench going. Everything's jacked up. And like I said, I'm just making a quick video. Hopefully it's not too painful to watch. Uh, I'm not a professional. But uh, I've done it before. And it seemed to work just fine. So I'm going to do it again. And this is my wife's car. It's a 2014 2014 Mazda 3. And that's the engine. So we're going to drain the oil on the bottom. Um, it hasn't been running long. It's been sitting pretty much all day. I just started up to move it into the carport. So the oil should be lukewarm. Uh, got it jacked up on both sides. With some three ton jack stands. So there should be enough clearance under there. Um, well, let's get under there and see what happens. Okay, we're going under the car. I'll do the best I can to get the uh, best angle I can on this for you. There's the drain plug. Ah. All right, just broke loose, and I'm gonna put my uh, disposable gloves on. All right, got my plastic glove on. You can see it's, I loosened it up, and it's starting to drip a little bit. Got the pan here, so hopefully. Got it lined up properly. And it's gonna come, it's gonna come gushing out here any second. Uh, uh. It's slip right now. Good. 
Okay. There we go. All right, that worked out pretty good. That's coming out good. finishing dripping draining I took the uh, I have the drain plug here and it's a little beat up I need to get a new one but they didn't have one at uh, O'Reilly's so I'm gonna have to order one from the from Mazda so I might be doing another oil change soon you know quicker than normal but this should be fine and I gotta this is the original you can see the indent <clears throat> it wasn't leaking but uh, it does have an indent around here so it's probably not totally flush I'm gonna try one of these copper ones and it basically is a seal almost like a gasket Drain plug in the oil pan, so hopefully that works. All right. While the oil's draining, we're gonna pull the uh, we're gonna pull this cover off. It just pops off like that. Pretty easy. And we'll wipe this down. Get it cleaned up. dust off the side here Okay, so while I was waiting for the oil to completely drain, I noticed there's a lot of dust in the car. I've already cleaned a bunch of it, but there's, you know, there's sand and stuff everywhere. So, I don't really like the idea of spraying the engine bay down, although I've seen videos on YouTube of people doing that, and they said it's fine. I actually use soap and degreaser and wash it down and everything's perfectly clean but I'd rather not do that if I don't have to so I'm just taking a uh, a lint free cloth that I normally use to wash the cars I've got a whole pile of them so I'm using one of these to just wipe all the dust off of everything loosen it up and uh, I've also got this, this an old paintbrush uh, it's not, you know, I'll probably get a, a bigger one next time, but I didn't really think about it. I'm just using this to get in the little cracks and stuff, which seems to be working pretty good. Um, 
I don't know if any of you guys have any really good videos of people washing, using water and soap and everything to wash the car. I'd like to see it. Um, like I said, I've seen a couple, but I'm just not sold on the idea. And uh, if you guys want to link some to it, that's fine. So I'm doing this. Get everything loose and then I'll take the blower and just blow it out. Uh, you know, get it a little bit cleaner so that stuff doesn't start building up everywhere. I mean, you do this once or twice a year. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it clean. I mean, the car is practically.